I just found out figure skating is called figure skating because skaters used to carve actual shapes like figure eights into the ice. And they'd be judged on how precisely they traced those curves. How did they do it so smoothly? No one knows. No, seriously, scientists still don't fully understand why ice is so slippery. There are two classic explanations, and they're both wrong. The idea is the skate presses down with a pressure to melt the ice. But unless the skater is massive and the ice is already close to zero degrees Celsius, which is not the case with ice rinks, that pressure isn't enough to melt anything. Then there's the friction theory. The skate moves, it generates heat through friction. But wait, ice is supposed to be slippery because it's smooth, but it's smooth because it has minimal friction. So we're in a chicken and egg situation. That just doesn't make sense. But here's what scientists now believe. And you can even prove this idea at home. Grab two ice cubes, then quickly stack them up. Scientists discovered that ice naturally has a thin, water-like layer on its surface just a few nanometers thick. And it exists even at temperatures colder than freezing point. So in this home experiment, after a while, the slippery layers will freeze and stick the cubes together. 